And now I'm going to clarify the stock, do a clarification, what we call a consommé. The process of clarification is the process by which you take a stock which is kind of cloudy and make it absolutely crystal clear. And it's done with a coagulant. When I was a kid, we still use blood, but basically, just like in wine, we use egg white now. You use green with that. And here I have the green of leek, the green of leek, the green of celery, parsley, and all that. You don't really need any big thing because it's not going to cook very long. And then my egg white, I have four egg white here. I put a little bit of water because the stock is hot and I don't want it to choke the egg white too much. I have peppercorn and then I'm putting salt in it because there is no seasoning in my, in my stock. Now, if I have a stock which is not very strong, I will add like one pound, sometimes two pound of ground meat here, very lean ground beef to strengthen the stock. If I use ground beef, then of course I have to cook it for an hour and a half, otherwise what's the point of using the beef? I'm losing it. But if I, the stock is strong enough, all I want to do is to clarify it. Then as soon as it comes to a boil, it boils a couple of minutes, I get the taste of tarragon, the green, it's like an infusion, like a tea. Then I can stop it and, and strain it. So from that stock here, now this is an interesting process because it doesn't seem, it seems that it gets worse and worse as you cook it. And it does to a certain extent and all of a sudden it's like magical, it clarified. So this has now has to come to a boil. As you can see here, I've known people who throw out their consommé when it's halfway done like that because talking about clarification, because people think it's getting worse and worse and worse and getting totally muddy. This is the way it should be. Starting boiling on the side. So you have a raft. It's called a raft to form on top or a crust. And of course, as soon as it boils, last time you stir it, you don't want to disturb it anymore. And that's it. And I will lower the heat. Stop the heat practically, not completely. Often I put it on the side like this, you know, so that you make a little hole and it stops filtering through that hole here. And you can see now already, except for the segment that there is in it, that the liquid is going to be very clear. So this is the ultimate soup what we call the consommé. And I can let it set for five minutes and then strain it. If I want to do an aspic, an aspic is a consommé, but in the clarification, you mix some gelatin in it, unflavored gelatin, of course, mix in your clarification and you do the same process. When it cool off, it harden in aspic. The consommé is cooked now and ready to be strained. I'm going to strain it now. I wanted to show you the clarity of the consommé now through the little hole that I did, how clear it is. And remember the stock that I did it with, here is the stock and here is the consommé there. You can really see the clarification. Now this doesn't even need to be strained, but to be sure we always strain it. And very often through even paper towel to make absolutely sure that there is absolutely no speck of anything in it. You don't really strain it directly in your serving plate. That's it. And here is my consommé, the ultimate bouillon. Crystal clear and delicious. <laughs>